are going thrifting today. Woo -woo. We are starting off with Goodwill as we normally do, but I have two new places that we're gonna check out together. I haven't been to them, so we'll see how it goes. But if you're interested in just seeing the haul, I'll put the timestamp right here. But without further ado, let's go thrifting. So we're starting off at Goodwill. Now, I know I always start at Goodwill and it's normally because I always feel like I'm gonna miss something if I don't start there first, but one of these days I'm gonna surprise you and actually not go there at all. But if I did that, then I'd miss out on things like this. I saw this picture and I fell in love. It's old and it's tarnished, but it's so cute and I thought I needed to have it. And of course, I had to take a look at the lamps. Now, I definitely don't need any more lamps, but I'm looking for a particular style and I haven't been able to find it yet, but I'm hoping maybe one day I will. Until then though, it's always nice to look around and just see what they have. But I continued on browsing, just seeing what they had. Nothing was really catching my eye and that was partly due to the fact that they just had low inventory that day. So I stumbled across a few things like this vase. I thought it was cute and adorable. For whatever reason though, I just didn't feel like it was for me. And so I passed up on it and left. So I found some things. It was a little picked over in there, so there weren't too many things to pick from. However, I did find one thing that I was really surprised about, so I'm excited to share that one with you. But let's head over to the next place. I don't know, I've been looking for something in particular and I haven't had much luck looking for it. So hopefully, maybe this is the place. So let's head on over. Okay, so this next place is called Bits and Pieces, and I actually stumbled across this one on Facebook Marketplace, oddly enough. I'm calling this one the old stock room, though, because it gives me the nostalgic feeling of just going up to the counter and saying, hey, do you have this? And the person go, oh yeah, let me just check in the back for you. I stumbled across these wooden bowls, though. Now I don't need more wooden bowls, but I thought they were so cute. I felt like my eyes were darting back and forth the entire time I was in here because there was so much stuff, so much home decor, so much furniture. I found this candelabra, which honestly I was so happy to find. I was looking for more brass candlesticks, so I was glad I found it. I also saw this jug. I am really impartial to these jugs. I don't know why, but I just think they're so cute to style up. So I thought that was really cute find as well. Something that I was looking for that unfortunately I couldn't find here were some small vintage frames. Now I found a few frames, but they were just a little too big for what I needed. I did, however, saw this amazing elephant clock, so I had to, of course, record it. But other than that, I was just really looking around, um, trying to see what I liked, but not much else caught my eye. So this place was actually more like antique and vintage items. So that was really cool to find out because obviously I love that stuff. Um, but it was priced accordingly. So I didn't go too wild here. I got a few things, but not too many. But the last place that we're going to today is actually right there, like right next to it, which I did not realize. So let's go ahead and head over there. Chair. Such a cute chair, wow. And the last stop of the day was Pickers Nation, AKA what I'm calling it, the collector's market. So already two seconds inside the door and then I noticed this thing, this rattan item. I thought it was so cute. This probably isn't surprising, but I did not get it because of the price. So this place clearly was not a thrift store even though it was advertised as one. However, I did find some really good pricing here even though a lot of the things that I was gravitating towards were on the high end too. And this jug in particular really spoke to me. I just love the detailing on it. But there were so many items in this store that were right up my alley. I found these incredible barrels. They were so cute and adorable. I didn't grab them, but I wish I did. And these chairs I thought were so amazing. Not really my style, but they were in amazing condition. Now this store was very eclectic in nature, so there were a lot of different things. I did find these gorgeous twisty candlestick holders. It was $25 for the pair though, and because of that, I passed it up. To me, I'd rather wait to find a better price than actually grabbing it the first chance I get. However, when I found these, I knew they were a good price. I've seen them on Marketplace plenty of times before, all very high, and so when I saw the price of those two, I was for sure going to get them. My footage is not doing this place justice, but there were so many items in the store that I ended up spending hours here. 
I feel like my eye had to look at every single thing inside of the booths before I could move on and even then I returned to kind of look at stuff again to make sure that I didn't pass anything up. Oh, but I was so excited when I found these vintage books. They were so cute and adorable and I basically took all of them off the shelf. All of them except one I took off the shelf intending to buy. And unfortunately, I didn't buy them though because there were two prices and unfortunately they were closer to the $20 mark as opposed to the 50 cent mark that I saw in the books previously. And the last booth I walked into had this gorgeous plant stand, but I was drawn to this little basket right here. I know that they have a similar style at Ikea, but unfortunately I don't have an Ikea near me. And these pendant lights were only $45. If I had a need for a pendant light, I definitely would have gotten them. This booth was so cute. There were so many items in there that really spoke to me in my design style. So of course I grabbed quite a few things from here to add to my collection. And the very last thing I saw before I left was this cute cabinet. Now it was on sale for only $200. If I had the space, I probably would have bought it, but I have to say this was just a great store to stumble upon. So I just got out of the last place. Overall, I would say it was a good day. Like these last two places that I found really kind of like turned my luck around. So I'm really excited. I would definitely stop at these two places again. So with that being said, it is thrift haul time. Okay, so first, up is this picture. I was a little guy over this one. I was like, yes. The time that I found this, I was about to leave. And so when I found it, like I just went right back to it. I'm sure I looked really ridiculous. Like I was zigzagging through, like, I don't know. Like it was my business. Like I was just like, mm -mm. but I just love this. Obviously I'm going to have to do some major polishing on this and clean it up really good but I, I just love this shape. I just love its curvature and this one was $5.99 by the way. I think it was a fair price for this. I mean it is a little beat up but obviously I could see past all the imperfections to be like yeah I think $5.99 is worth it. Next up is this pot. I just thought it was incredibly cute. I love these handles. I am really impartial to this color. I'm not really sure why. I think it's just because it reminds me more of like boho items, but I also love like just neutrals in general. So even though it's missing its lid though, I can look past that. I do think it was a little high though. I mean, I still liked it because I probably just use it for a container for like flowers or some kind of greenery anyways, for sure. So next up is this vase. Unless you're familiar with the collection, you probably don't realize this, but this is actually Hearth and Hand. It's the collection that Joanna Gaines has in collaboration with Target. So I've never seen a Magnolia, Joanna Gaines, Hearth and Hand piece at the thrift store, like that's a first. I'm sure someone was just like, meh, it's not my taste after all. It does still have the original sticker and it was selling in the store for 13 bucks, which still, that's still not bad because I know that stuff is a little higher priced. That's the reason why I don't usually go to the store and get that stuff. Same with Studio McGee, but I love their stuff. But I was really shocked. I was truly shocked that I got a hearth and hand piece at the thrift store, so. That's cool. So that was all that I got from Goodwill. The next place I went to was Bits and Pieces, which is a thrift store. The guy was, I'm not gonna lie, the guy was hilarious. Uh, you could tell that he has a lot of people trying to nickel and dime him for his pieces. He was not for it. But next up, one of the things that I did get was this. Now I have a black one that's bigger that doesn't have this spout, but I just really love these. Now this one, is very chipped, but I kind of like it that way. But I will say it was $20. So definitely not the cheapest buy that I have. I find these at the flea market for much cheaper, but this is something I'm confident to say that I will love this and I will always love it. And so $20, although high, I think it's a great piece to add to my collection. So next up is this necklace. Now, nothing special, like obviously handmade, just put on a ribbon and everything like that. I'm not sure what these beads are, but I just thought these would be really cute decorative beads, but I'm, let me stop clinging them together, sorry. But always I'm looking for different texture kind of beads to kind of just have as decorative pieces. I definitely gravitated towards them. And so because of that, I picked these up. I look so weird holding it like that. I'm so sorry. I, I don't know how to hold it without clinking it together. This still doesn't look right either, but I know this is a necklace, but I kind of do that a lot. I'm really happy about these, and this is a decent length too. Honestly though, I 
don't remember the price and that is because of the fact that, like this was literally rung up right after the lady told me that the one vintage book was 18 bucks I was like what next up is this thing I thought it was so cute uh, I mean I'm obviously impartial to anything that has kind of like natural materials but I thought it was really cool now learn something new so this says it's a vintage rattan flycatcher is that an actual bug in there I think I still like it knowing that it's a it was a flycatcher but anyways so this one was $12 which I actually thought was a really great price for this I thought it was really cute and adorable and to have a little basket so to speak and this glass uh, for $12 I thought was really great so I'm sorry, I'm still hung up on the fact that this is a flycatcher. The things you pick up. So the same booth where I bought the flycatcher, I also bought this, which I thought was so adorable. Now this on the tag says it's a vintage style plant, is that atomizer? I just thought it was really cute. This one was only $6, so I thought that was actually a decent price for this. Um, so this booth in particular I felt was like very affordable. So this last place, the Pickers Nation, it was really set up more, it was a flea market and I didn't realize it was a flea market. This thing though was so cute, I really liked it. I probably won't ever actually use it, I wouldn't know how to use it anyways, but I just think it's a really cute decor piece and it's got a little bit of an etching too of a leaf on it. I really like this one and I'm really glad I picked it up. Six bucks I think is very good. Next up is this handmade bowl. I love this. Seriously though, I love this. I mean, this is a good size and I literally was about to spend $30 on the Ikea set from Amazon and so I bought this one. I thought this was really cute. Now one day you guys are going to be like, oh, enough with the baskets. But baskets like this are always good because they double as a decor piece but also storage and I can never get enough of storage. When I saw this was $10 though, I really was so excited because I thought $10 for this was reasonable. I know it's handmade and I mean honestly it's beautiful. But yeah, I love this and I love the person who made this. Thank you to the person who made this. This is so awesome. So when I tell you I've been looking forever for these two items that I'm about to show you, I've been looking for these for months and I've seen them all over Marketplace, but I've never seen them anywhere near me. So I found them. I have been obsessed with trying to find the brass swans forever. And then finally, I've randomly come across Pickers Nation and I find them on a shelf. I'm like, are you serious? I found so many different styles on Marketplace and they were so expensive. And I ended up getting these for 16 which actually I think honestly I got them for cheaper I don't remember the price but that booth in particular had a sale too so it was less than $16 for these so honestly not thrift store price but at the same time I'm so happy I found these and I'm so glad that I didn't have to actually go through and have them shipped to me I'm really glad I found them just locally that was so cool and I feel like you're probably underwhelmed by the fact that I've been searching for these forever but it feels so good when you find some Thing that you've been looking for for forever so this was my score oh, on my way home on the curb there were some things for free and yes I am that person that will definitely go up to the curb and look around so I found these two wall hanging baskets I thought these were so cute I actually like the fact too that they're not the traditional circle it's like more of an elongated design and with a little half circle basket these are actually in great condition too like and better condition than you know some of the things that I find at the thrift store this was a pretty awesome score but the next thing that I found that was free I think was even better so the next thing I found for free was this like what what? There are so many people out there that are literally looking for this kind of thing and someone put it on the curb. I was like, oh, happy day. But seriously, is it dirty? Does it need to be cleaned up? For sure. But is all that fixing and cleaning and everything going to be worth it? <laughs> yes. Honestly too, I have to feel like this is a vintage piece. I don't think it's anything new. The age on it, you can tell it's been around for a while. The fact that I got this for free, I'm like, what? I would have easily probably paid $20 for this had I seen it in the thrift store. When this is all cleaned up, this is gonna look so beautiful. And I don't know where it's gonna go yet, but I'm gonna find, ooh, maybe the downstairs bathroom. 
That's a good idea. Yes! All right, we got a plan. Next thing that I got was this brass candlestick holder. Now, I got this one at Bits and Pieces. It was $8. Honestly, it's brass. I know people price brass for a higher price, and it's popular. It's well sought after. So, I mean, to see this for $8, it didn't surprise me at all. I really liked this one. It was a little bit different. I like that it has the handle, but usually the ones that have the handle are a lot shorter. So I like that this one was a little bit taller. And last but not least, I found this candelabra, which I feel like that will probably be the next thing that I keep on looking for is just candelabras. So after the first candelabra that I found, I guess, I mean, I guess I was just like, yeah, let's find more candelabras. So I found this one and I got this one. Um, now I brought it up to the register and he only charged me three for this. And I'm like thinking eight for this, but three for this. Okay. I mean, I'm pretty confident this is still brass, but maybe he knows something that I don't know. Maybe it's not brass, but I still thought it was really cute. I love this little detail right here. It's kind of like the perfect spot for you to kind of put your fingers in. Not that I'm going to be carrying this around at all when it's lit, but I just thought it was cool nonetheless. Overall, I would say this was an incredibly good day. So I purposely left those for last to kind of show you guys because on my last thrift haul, I got a comment for Jay to see my candlestick brass collection uh, because I did say I got a lot now, which I mean, as soon as I like grabbed them, I was like, oh, I don't have a lot. But then I was like, oh, Rachel, no, that is dangerous thinking. Like, stop, stop. With that being said, I'm 99% sure that you will be seeing more brass candlestick holders in future thrift hauls because the fact that my mind flashed and said, I actually don't have a lot, means inevitably I'm going to get more. Okay, so obviously we got the two. So. This is it. This is just candlestick holders. Is this a lot? It's a lot, right? So currently, I have 13. But yeah, 13. And my first thought was when I saw this pile, oh, I actually don't have a lot. <sighs> Girl, you are just trouble. Um, so thank you so much for asking to see about these, Jay. And if you happen to want to see anything else, honestly, I'd be more than happy to show you. Alright everyone, that is it for the thrift haul today, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, definitely make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed, if I pass that vibe check for you, definitely make sure you're subscribed and you hit that little notification bell so you're in the know when I post again. So you might have noticed, you might have not, but I've changed my channel name. It went from Rachel G DIY to Rachel G Thrifts. And that is because this channel is officially only going to be thrifting in hauls. So gone are the days where I flip flop every other week where I do a thrift haul and then a DIY and then a thrift haul and then a DIY. We are doing nothing but thrift hauls, shop with me's and flea markets and everything like that. So all that will be here on this channel every single week. But I decided, because I still love DIYs, I decided to make another channel that is all DIYs. So that is the new Rachel G DIY. So if you're only here for the thrifting content, I'm happy to say that's what you'll be seeing every single week on this channel. If, however, you are one of those individuals who also happen to like DIY, I would love to have you over at the DIY channel too. Um, honestly, I'm just so grateful that you've watched, but I just want to say thank you for all the support that you have given me. But I want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! As I spill it all over myself. Eels. Like.